Hi guys, today I want to show you how to assign a USB to a virtual machine in a static way. What I mean in a static way, I mean it's permanent, which means you cannot remove the device once you assigned it and you cannot migrate the machine to another node. So in cases like dongles, for example, so for some proprietary software that you'll need uh, this dongle to be connected to the VM, you connect this uh, USB device to the server itself, not to the desktop. I'll show you how to configure Overt to make it work. So first, let's go to the server, compute host, and let's go to this machine and let's go to host devices and here we'll see all the devices that are in the machine itself that doesn't mean that you cannot you can install them on the virtual machine it means they are that they are there now let's say you added right now a usb device to the server you might not see it right now on this um, list so what you'll need to do is click on management refresh capabilities and it will update the list and you'll see it as soon as you'll see it for example in my case is this sandisk device that i'm going to map to a vm i can see it i can uh, proceed to the next step and the next step is going to the virtual machine that i want to mount this device or map this device to this vm and i click on the vm and uh, first i forgot something let's make sure that it has usb support so click on console and usb support should be enabled i already have it enabled i'll uh, click on the Windows 10 VM, go to host devices, and I'll click a device. Now I'll select the capability of USB devices, and then here's my device, and I click this arrow to map it to this uh, VM. And I'll click OK. One thing that is very important, it won't allow you to do it if the machine is on. So you have to power off the virtual machine, not the server. The virtual machine, once you have it, let's click Run. Let's go back to General to see everything. And click on Console. Okay, now the Windows machine is being booted. And let's log in. And if we go to this PC, you can see this is my SanDisk device here. Sorry, this one. So now you can use the device. I'm using just a disk on key for this example, but you can connect, for example, if you need a USB cellular for only this specific machine for security purposes, you can connect and configure it on this virtual machine. And it won't be accessible to other virtual machines or to the server. One important thing, you cannot migrate the machines once it's up and it has the USB device and it's very understandable because uh, other servers don't have this same device. Now you can also map dynamic USB devices which means you can dynamically map the device and in this case uh, the vert uh, viewer, this remote viewer that I'm using, uh, it won't let me because of a Windows bug. But basically what you need to do is file, USB device selection, you'll see all the devices, you click it, click close, and you can use the device as long as uh, the remote viewer is running. So, for example, if you want to copy files to a disk on key on your machine from the VM, this is what you'll do. As you can see, 
it's a bug, I'm going to file a bug in Bugzilla. So I hope they'll take care of it. In uh, Fedora and Ubuntu, by the way, this remote viewer works fine. You can map the devices and it works perfectly. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and click on the bell notification to receive notifications of future videos.